How do you feel we should navigate knowing what you know so much, having this worldly view, meeting so many different people, getting yourself out of so many challenging situations? What are some of the things you would tell people today going through states of fear or even states of disease and discomfort to do in these times that can absolutely help themselves? I would I'd share what, what's worked with me. I've, I've discovered that um, I can't be grumpy and afraid and grateful at the same time. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that experientially, and I've done a, a lot of work and looked at a lot of the science, just the brain and the heart can't do it. And where you put your attention, your energy goes. So as corny and as simplistic as it might sound, taking a few minutes a day to just breathe and focus on being grateful. Um, uh, Advantage to that being, A, it feels good, and B, given this environment, this world that we're all living in at the moment, we all have such high cortisol levels. There's such a high level of cortical inhibition, and we all have these allostatic loads from this continual stress, what people don't realize is that just by engaging in a little bit of gratitude, it sets off a different set of neurochemicals, and the, your neurophysiology shifts and changes, and you're actually setting yourself up for success to be able to actually thrive in this environment and take care of yourself and the people you love and care about. Um, so you're giving yourself a shot by just being grateful. And, and one way to leverage that is also to find a way just to be kind. Um, and two dimensions to it. be kind to other people. It's pretty easy. It can be as simple as a smile in the store or holding a door open or whatever you want it to be. But bringing intentionality to being kind once a day, it's not that difficult. And here's the, the one that's a bit of a kicker, though. Once a day, finding a way to be kind to yourself. Mm. like real intentionally if it's i'm gonna actually eat some fruit or i'm gonna drink some water or i'm gonna get nine hours sleep or just intentionally being kind to myself and that takes care of the third thing do the next right thing um so if we can do that if we can focus on some gratitude um find a way to be kind and do the next right thing that that would be the counsel i think yeah I can absolutely echo that. I think that idea of being kind to yourself is, of course, self-care, self-love, and a healing response to everything. And then you do prioritize your health when you have that kindness to yourself. And I, I could absolutely get behind that idea of being kind to others, even in the face of them being unkind to you. I think that's the challenging part these days. We have such a polarized kind of view on things and so much back and forth and animosity towards others that may not think like us or do something bad to us. I think it's in those moments that it's critical to find kindness and compassion for others. I think we've lost that a little bit. We, we just snap off, right? Someone cuts us off and suddenly it's a road rage incident. Whereas in the past, we should be allowed to say, maybe that person is rushing to see someone that's dying right now. Maybe they have their pregnant wife in the car and need to get to a hospital and they didn't mean to cut us off. Or maybe they didn't, but who knows? You don't know that. And I think having that time to reflect and just say, be kind instead of the outrage and sudden impulse to go to something negative and and harbor on that throughout the rest of the day and stay in negative fields of energy in a sense is Mm -hmm. really something that's so critical these days. And I see less and less of it, right? Less and less of that time to take a deep breath and remember gratefulness, kindness, say those words to yourself and just let it go. Because in the end, it's isn't it so much better for you and the other person? It's not even about the other person that it's really about yourself. You're doing an act of kindness for yourself because otherwise you'll just be stuck in a very negative state based off something that you have no control over. That person already cut you off. That person already said something you don't like maybe. That's okay. 